up guys, what's up? I'm Strupi and today I want to start a new series, new series of, of a videos, BAC, what means Battle Altars, Conquer, and in short card, Buck. Yeah, just basically Buck. And I will be showing you how important is placement of the heroes. We all know that. And please notice one thing. The, the important thing is how you place the heroes because it means which hero will be targeted first and which will hit first. As you can see, Moltanika is a ranged hero for a 5 revitalize. But he doesn't hit my Thunder God. My Thunder God hits Moltanika before the Moltanika hits my Thunder God. That's a very important thing. But still, it's extremely hard because it's a 4 or 5 revitalize Moltanika. And the debuff is extremely huge. So the stun from Thunder God is not really that powerful because it's just one and a half second. Not enough to make too much time. So basically I have to manage a very good setup so I can beat that team. And that is not very easy. I have to I have to try many different setups and just just a little changes are very important. They have a big influence on that. Sometimes better, sometimes worse. And this this shows how important is even one hero placed in the different place. So basically we are coming to the end of the video. Ah, just slowly slowly until you see the final setup, it was very very smart. Let's move all the heroes one square back. And now you'll see why. Because Thunder God stun will perfectly stun all of the heroes. All of the heroes were stunned and my Ares proc on the time. So that was extremely good run. And let's now uh, beat that. Moltanica team, yeah, 140 level. Now I'm meeting close to 175 or something like that. The strongest currently that, that I can meet, and I beat them without problems. Basically, yes. Rare Crest Box, that's pretty good, a decent reward. But let's now move to some opening. Yeah, opening stuff. Well, we, we have some stuff to open some boxes, Crest, bo crest Bags and some hero cards so we'll start from the box self destruct that's not very well not very good because i prefer war god and bulwark these are the two two of the best you can get from the rare boxes and crest bags and now opening some green stuff as always getting all the same over and over bags i mean crests there's no action, nothing that can really happen in that. So, just watching what's happening, what I'm getting. Hopefully not too many scorches and blade shells, but sadly I'm getting a lot of this. And now it's time for, for the druid card. What can we get from the druid card? Probably not a druid. I'm joking, but well... It's pretty generous that we are getting 10 crystal oozes, crystal essences I mean, and some 10 green books, always better than nothing. And now let's see the special hero card, Ninja. I'm all the time hoping for Atlantica because I have never rolled a single one and I don't want to waste 6000 shirts for Atlantica. So I'm just trying to get him by luck. So thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to like, comment and see us soon. Thanks for watching, bye!